What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Okay, so today I got three PlayStation 1 shooters for you. All three of these games are good, all three of these games are affordable. And if you don't feel like buying them, you can download and play these ROMs through an emulator very easily. Okay, so the first game is a game in the Time Bokan series. It's a Bokan 2 Apatsu, I guess that's how you pronounce that. So the, the kind of fun that this shooter brought to me when I first heard about this game, played this game, is it brought that unique kind of fun that you get in games like Harmful Park, where it's like so silly and the shooter's so good. Now, I'm not going to say this game is as good as Harmful Park, but it, it's up there. It's up there pretty high. It, it, it almost touches the mark, at least to me. And this game is super affordable. I think, God, I paid like $15 for this game shipped. Look it up on eBay. Now, there was a Saturn version of this game, and I, I know that Saturn version, I, I looked at that. I actually burned a copy of that game. That game's kind of kind of pricey, but you know this game was so cheap on the PlayStation One. Now apparently there's a French, there's like a PAL version of this on the PlayStation One. That game subsequently is worth you know goes for a ton of money, but there's eight stages in this game, so you got a you got a pretty good amount of stages at least for a shooter, and you have your choice between six different mechs. Now, there's three more apparently that are unlockable as you pro progress through the game. Just the mechanics on this thing, everything's pretty simple. Uh, the only thing that I kind of gripe about is the fact that your hitbox is kind of big, but I mean, look how silly the game is. I wouldn't really call this game a cute em up although it kind of falls into that category. Uh, this game is extremely fun, extremely playable. You don't need to know Japanese to play it, as with most shooters, and there's a lot of anime cutscenes, which I kind of like, but I mean, they're in Japanese, so I have no idea what's going on. I don't know if it's adult themed, I don't know if it's for children, but I do know this is a really good game. You can probably find it for, uh, probably right now, I know there's a few people talking about this game, you could probably find it for, I'd say, under $25, and that's pretty good. You're all going to need a Japanese PlayStation 1 or a PlayStation 2 to play this game, but, you know, that's just the way it is. All three of these games are Japanese, by the way, but they're all really good, and all really good reasons to buy a Japanese PlayStation 2 Slim. Anyway, Time Bokan on the PlayStation 1. Okay, guys, up next, we have a game called Two Tenkaku, at least I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, this is a very interesting game. This game has a lot in common with the game I recently got, Secura Flamingo Archives, in that it's one of those games that eludes even shoot 'em up lists on the internet. So this was actually uh, developed by a company called Club Dep. Don't know much about them, don't know any other games they developed, but they have a sharp resemblance to Cave in the way that their game plays, because this game plays a lot like if you've played Don Pachi or Dead Don Pachi on the Sega Saturn or the PlayStation 1, this game plays a lot like those games. There's a couple of different ships, not a ton of variety here, but uh, and there is some like kind of cheesy cutscenes, like cheap 90s anime Japanese cutscenes, like CGI, like the real cheap stuff that gives people an eye sore. People like me that are like almost 40 years old, I can really love and appreciate stuff like that, but you know, a lot of kids, you know, my stepson, obviously, if he saw this game, he'd probably laugh at me, like, what the hell are you doing? But this game plays great, and it's not that expensive now. To get a complete version of this game, and believe me, I looked this up before I got this game, and it didn't cost me that much. It was like 25, 30 bucks, something like that. It wasn't a lot, but it comes with a poster. The poster's nothing great that you're going to want to hang on your wall, but I'm just saying, if you want to get the complete game, it's going to come with this little fold-out poster, which is kind of cool. I love getting stuff like that in a game. But yeah, guys, you can see the uh, the game kind of plays like Dead on Pachi, the way the focus shot. I don't think it's called a focus shot in this game, but you know your main uh, force attack weapon is kind of like a focus shot, just like you'd have in Don Pachi or Dead on Pachi. Now, interesting fact, and my only gripe about Tutankaku is when you get this game, depending upon the ship that you choose, you have to hammer that fire button before you get power enough up enough to where you can just hold the button down without having to mash it. You, you get my drift here. Um, same reason that why there's turbo sliders on a turbo graphics controller. Um, so I actually found a third party PlayStation one controller that had turbo function and it works great. And it's like a $5 controller that I found at a flea market, but you know, whatever. So anyway, if you do have a controller with turbo function, that's really, it's not completely necessary. Like I said, it's dependent upon the ship that you choose, but if you want to be able to choose any ship and just to just start cruising in this game, trust me, you're going to need a PS1 or a PS2 controller with a turbo function. Two Tenkaku on the PlayStation 1. And the last game that we're going to talk about is a little game called Project X2. Now, Project X2 is one of the first import PS1 shooters that I remember ever ordering online. And this game was pretty cheap a few years ago. I imagine it's still pretty cheap if you find a copy for sale today when copies surface for sale. 
Now, this is said to be a sequel to a game called Project X that came out on the Amiga. I never played that game. If you have, let me know in the comments. Is the game any good? Can I emulate the game easily? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. This game was published by Capcom in Japan and developed by Team 17 and Ocean. So I guess the game was co-developed. Now, Project X2 was supposed to have came out here in the U.S. and it was supposed to have been published by Acclaim. That never happened, obviously. I heard the reason that never happened is because the testers that tested this game thought the game was so incredibly difficult that people would just set the controller down, walk away, and never pick the controller up again. You know, maybe that's the case, but that is a shame because this is a pretty decent shooter. I mean, look at the graphics. This game it plays well. Controls are a little bit wonky. I probably shouldn't even use that word wonky, but it's not that bad. And the hitbox is a little, little bit bigger than you're probably used to, especially if you play games like Dead on Pachi. But, you know, it's not terrible. Just a little bit of a bigger hitbox than you're probably used to. This is a fun shooter. I highly recommend it. Now, this game is really hard. And to be honest with you, I've never fully finished this game. I have gotten to stages that I, I think this game actually scrolls vertically and horizontally. You know, it's, ah, it's been a couple years since I really, really dug into this game. Although I am making this video now, but I know this game is a good shooter. Because I remember playing it and thinking like, man, this is a pretty decent shooter for what I paid for it. It's not like a $300 shooter. You know, it's not like a Gaia Seed or a Harmful Park. But, you know, you're going to get your bang for your buck in this game. For the $25 that you're probably going to spend on Project X2, I think it's totally worth it. Especially if you have a Japanese PS2. You should definitely add Project X2 to your collection. Anyways, guys, love to hear what you guys have to say in the comments down below. You know, what games are you playing right now during the quarantine, during the lockdown? You playing any decent shooters? Let me know in the comments. Till next time, guys. Peace out.